Hello, welcome to Texas Style Cuisine. I'm Chef Johnny, and today I'm gonna to break out my barrel house cooker and show you how we can cook up a couple of bone-in hams. We're getting this fire going. The first thing I'm going to do is drop my coals on top, spread them around a little bit. I've got instructions on how to light this, and you can find a lot of them online. And But you put your charcoals in, you take part of them out, put in a chimney starter, get it going, pour them back on top. So that's what we've done. Now we're going to get our barrel on top and get this thing ready to go. So here we go. Just pick it up, and this is one feature I love about this cooker is as you can pick that bottom up and down. Get it off, work with your fire, put it back on. Great feature. Fire's going. Let's get started back on our hams now. Not a real tough job to get these hams ready to go. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pork rub and I'm gonna put a recipe down below so you can find that. Just click where it says show more. And we're gonna coat this ham real good. I'm gonna leave that skin on it. You can. Take it off if you want to, I usually don't. But we're just gonna get a good coating of my seasoning on it. Turn it over here. Coat this side real well. And now, the interesting part. How are we gonna hang this? It's the part I've been wondering about, but I think we can do it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna daisy chain these hooks. So I'm gonna put two hooks in the top to put two hooks down lower so that we have four hooks in it and there's kept holding the weight a little bit better, spreading it out some. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. I want our hooks to be out the top just a little bit. So this first hook, I'm gonna put it right there. Come in, you can see it's coming out a little bit on the back side just cause of the, the way that these hooks are made and the ham shape also. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a second one and I'm going to want to go in right about there and then I'm going to hook it under this one. That way we hold some weight further down. This hook's further down in there, it's got more chunk of the ham on it. So I'm just going to kind of put it on, push it in. And there we go. Let me get my second ham ready to go. And then we're gonna show you how we're gonna get these in that barrel house cooker. Cause I tell you what, it's gonna be a tight fit. That's a, that's a lot of ham going in that pit, but I bet you it'll hold it. And what I was worried about here was getting it in because the hams will not fit through the holes of, the, of your H bracket. So what I'm gonna do is I've already hooked them on there and I've got my, Coals going in there. I'm going to hang it that way. I can spread them out a little bit. And those hams are going to hang nicely. Just had to put them in there already on our H brace that goes up on the top. So it's in. Let's cover it up. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up my eye grill mini to one of these hams. I just want to monitor the temperature of these hams as they're cooking. So I'm going to slide it through one of the exhaust ports. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to drop it right down into the center of this ham. There we go. Plug that in. Now I can monitor the temperature of that ham and how fast it's cooking. But these hams, if you have them around 300 degrees, it's going to take you 15 to 20 minutes per pound. So what I'm looking at is three, three and a half hour cook to get these hams smoked all the way. I do have some nice hickory wood chunks in there. So, should cook up well. We're gonna track it and see how it does. And we'll get back with you here in a little bit when we come out to check them. Well, the sun is up, it's daylight. Hams are cooking good. They've been on about three hours or so. And they got about another hour to go. Just checked them, they look pretty good. 
And uh, while we're waiting, I thought I'd tell you about a, a channel I've been watching. One of my followers has been coming here asking me a lot of, a lot of cooking questions, different things. We got to communicate back and forth and found out that he's got a channel also. But he's a good old Texas boy. And he's got a channel called Texas Beard Adventures. So get over there and look that up. And you can see him and his buddies, C9 and Doug. And they're, they're out cooking on a really nice barbecue rig they got. But not only are they cooking, they're doing some hunting. They got a nice mule deer hunt on their channel. Uh, some all dads. They've got some fishing going on. But I tell you what, the channel is full of shenanigans. Now, if you like shenanigans, you like guys acting silly sometimes, just good old Texas boys having fun. These are the kind of guys you want to watch. But they're, they're nice fellas. Had a chance to visit with them some. And hopefully, I'm going to get to do some, some cooking with them here in the near future. But run over there to Texas Beard Adventures. I'll put a link down below so you can find it. And just tell them Chef Johnny sent you over there. And tell them hi and check out the channel if you would for me. Appreciate it. Let's go just a little bit longer and then we will... Uh, Check out these hams and see how they turned out. We're gonna get these hams out. Pop that off. Pick out our heat probe. And I had just ran this probe through the exit port on our iGrill Mini. Now this is the tough part. I had two big hams that wouldn't fit through the, the H-rack to drop in. So I had to put them in at the same time, so I'm going to have to take them out at the same time. Let's see if we can get these out of here without dropping them. It's going to pick up the whole H. There you go. And those hams are pretty, let me tell you. Let's get these off this H-rack. Let's go. And get these hooks off of our H-grate. Pull that one off. Here we go. Bottom ones, this grate is hot and so are these hams. So. Being real careful, but that's all. And let's see if we can get some good looking pictures of these. Here you go. Bring out our hooks. You can see how I turn it toward the camera so you can see how I had it double hooked here. Just there you go. Wand is working good. That one's done. Let's see if we can get off this other one. Taking these over to my sister's house today for Easter lunch. So I think what I'm gonna do is, is uh, slice up one and have it ready to go. And then the other one, uh, if we need it, we'll slice it then. Both these are pretty. They have a lot of smoke on them. I bet you they're gonna taste great. Turn these around where you can See those, but we can get a nice close up on them. Ham has been sitting for a while, it's cooled down some, so we're gonna, we're gonna start looking at slicing it. Yeah, it's not too hot anymore. And we're just gonna slice this off the bone. See how it turns out, and see how it's gonna taste. You just have to, with that bone in there, you got to watch. I'm already hitting bone right there, so I'm going to turn this one a little bit. This is where the skin was. I'm going to take this skin off. This is a beautiful tray of ham. It turned out fantastic. I'm gonna give it a sample. Mmm. Mmm, let me tell you. That ham is moist. It's tender. That smoke has penetrated through that ham. The barrel house cooker did a great job cooking up those two hams. And if, if you enjoyed this video, please do go down there, give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment. Always wanna hear what y'all have to say about my cooks. 
We don't take it for granted whenever you stop by. We appreciate you being here. We thank you for being here. And I'll tell you what, remember to subscribe my channel and click that notification bell. Tell your friends and family about us. Share us on your social media. And we're going to see you down the road on Texas Style Cuisine. Sitting by the wagon when the sun come up this morning. Bacon, eggs, and coffee, biscuits, and beans. Cookie strikes the bell and he rings the world a warning. How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen.